Okay, I've got this old photo of my aunt and her cousin. And over here on the left is a faded strip. I'm going to show you how to fix a faded portion of a photograph. First thing I'm going to do is zoom in. And you can come up here and click on the zoom tool or just push Z on the keyboard. The border is faded into the background here on the photo. So I'm going to come up here and drag just onto the ruler, drag down, and I'm just going to get it even where you can see the border is right here. It'll make it easy to use the tool. So choose the free mask tool. Then come down here where the dark, the light area, and the border meet, and click click once when you get it on that spot. Then come over here to the very corner, and line that up where all three meet. Whoops. and click and then as you come up keep the line on this you can see the line keep the line parallel with the border here and bring it up to this guide that we made when you get there and it's parallel on the border click and then come across to where the faded area and that guide meet and double click and now you have your mask then the next thing we do oh and over here I did not choose feathered edges you don't need to feather the edges for this but I do have anti-aliasing checked now come up here where it says tools no come over here where it says colors and come down here where it says auto and choose equalize and now you can see it filled in but it's darker than the rest so the next thing to do is come up here where it says colors again come down here where it says brightness contrast and click that and now what you do is right here in this area is a good where place to start. You're just going to play with the you're just going to play with the brightness and contrast controls until they match. Uh, this could take a while, so I'll show you some of it, and then I might I might edit it out. But see them. Okay. I'm going to play with the contrast a little. I'll try the other way. Nope, definitely want to be going up with the contrast. Oh, that's fairly close. You can see the trees here are darker than the trees here. So I'm going to go back up to the brightness. I'm going to lower it a little bit. Yeah, that was too much. Uh, here more. I'm going to come over here and use the little up arrow so I can go slow. And that's pretty good. The grass on this side is pretty close. The trees the wall is good. So I'm going to choose OK. And now I'm going to get rid of the mask, which is Control Shift A. 
Now you can see we've got a line here. Next thing to do is work on fixing that line. So I've zoomed out and you can see there is a definite line where the mask was. So we're going to zoom in very close on small areas of the line and fix it. Choose right here. Very obvious. I'm going to choose the heel tool. And I want a brush. It's number two, hardness 050. It's got a soft edge. And I'm going to choose put push control and click. I choose that spot. And I'm going to come over here and just drag. And kind of blend them together. And I'm going to do the same thing up here. Go up. Control click. And drag. Right here. I'm going to go up some more. And I'm going to come right here on the top edge. Do control click again. And I'm going to come over here and line it up. And that's not bad. And scroll up right here let's choose I'm going to choose the bottom edge of this one right here now control click I'm going to line it up with the bottom edge of the vine right where it should be in this area and drag coming down that edge is fixed there so now let's scroll back down so I'm going to come down here right between these two sticks this is a great bobber I'm going to do control click there and then I'm going to come over here where it would be between the two sticks again scroll drag I'm going to go up I'm going to come down. Let's take a look at the whole picture again. Control, you know, that was Control Shift J to zoom back out. I'm going to go back to my zoom tool, which is Z. And we're going to come over here and work around this wall. Go back to the heel tool. And I'm going to make it smaller. It'll make it less obvious where we've blended. So I'm going to choose an area I like right here. Control click and drag. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to come up here right at the bottom of the wall. Control click over here and drag and I want to come over here control click and drag up and then in this area I'm going to come over here control click Scroll down. And I'm going to use the clone tool right now. 
switch, control click. Is there some kind of can here? And I'm just going to get rid of it. It'll be easier. I'm going to zoom out a little. I'm going to make my brush bigger. Oh, we don't. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to get rid of the dots. It's all these white specks. So I've got a nice black area to work with. Okay. Now I'm just going to blend this wall because the color wasn't right anyway. I'm going to clone it. I'm going to come right here with the white and the dark meat. Do a control click. And I'm going to come over here where they meet and drag it. Zoom out. And now the faded area matches the rest of the photo. And that's how you fix a faded area in a photograph, using a mask. If you have an odd-shaped one, you can use the uh, freehand tool for that, too. It doesn't have to be straight lines. You can do lots of clicks and make curves and stuff. And that's it for this one. I hope this helps you out. Please comment, rate, or subscribe. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.